Oliver was standing outside the classroom with his best friend, Dan. They were waiting for the first class to get. They were just talking some random stuff and... So, Oliver, do you have any plans for the weekend? No, not really. Do you have any mind? Hmm... Well, how about we go to this, you know, the arcade games to play Laser Tag? You know what? It has been a while since we actually played Laser Tag, and um, if I remember right, I actually beat you last time. As as if, said Daniel with a chuckle. You know, I can always beat you as always, says Oliver. Oliver just really felt comfortable, confident that he can always beat his best friend in any game. But in fact, he did happen he do lose some games against them, but it doesn't stop him to feel confident. How about we go there after school? Hmm? And the winner and the loser buys the pizza. You're wrong. They both shook hand and then the teacher came and they all walked in. Daniel and and Oliver have been best friends since middle school. They saw each other not only as best friends, but they saw each other as brothers. Oliver was the only child, but Daniel has at least a few other brothers, at least two brothers. And since they grew up as, so as since middle school, he saw Daniel as a brother, well, like a brother type. And he was actually really happy to have Daniel as his best friend. After all, they did all kinds of things together, play games and even hang out at the friends or stuff like that. But after they had their first class, Daniel said to, to Oliver that he would see him at lunch break, which Daniel, Oliver just nodded and walked to his next class. During the lunch break, they were just still talking about this laser tag game and all that, and even so, there were a lot of things that they talked about, but then suddenly they were interrupted by someone saying, Hey Oliver, and both turned around and saw it was Miranda. And Miranda was an old friend of Oliver and Daniel, but ever since they both, ever since, ever since they all started high school over a year earlier, she had changed. Before in middle school, she was always a very kind, outgoing, very friendly girl, but ever since she came to high school, it was like something switched. Her personality was completely changed. Became more arrogant, more like almost evil, kind of like that's all. So, Miranda, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? What can we do for you? said Daniel. Mm, not much, just want to say hi and to see if you guys have any plans for the weekend. Actually, yeah, we have, said Oliver. Me and Daniel are actually going to play like Lich Tag this weekend, and even today. Oh, um, would it be okay if I joined in, you know, all time's sake? Daniel and Oliver looked at each other for a few seconds and said, Yeah, I mean, why not? Like, it will be like old times. In fact, before they even start high school, Daniel and Oliver used to hang out with Miranda. She used to be like a tomboy herself when they, when they were younger. But ever since they started started going to high school, she started to less, be less a tomboy and be more as a girl. And in fact, a lot of boys in the school started to have a crush on her. But she rejected them all of them. There was only one boy she had in mind, and that was Oliver. She even had a crush on him ever since middle school. But he wasn't even aware of that. that. But he became aware of her crush until they was around shortly after he started high school. But he was not even romantically involved or really interested in Miranda at any point. And, and even though he tried to tell her that he was not interested in dating at the moment. He was only focused on his friends at school, for the most part. So Miranda asked if they were, now when she asked if they could hang out, she expected maybe this could be like a date, maybe she could try to have a little more alone time with Oliver. And that was just at least her hope at least for that. 
So they agreed to go on there to to have some games on after school. And after school was over, Oliver was standing by his car with Daniel and waiting for Miranda. While they were waiting, they were just talking about, you know, that she still have a crush on you. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, I know. But I told her I'm not interested in dating as anyone as with anyone right now. I mean, I want to find someone that I can be with, but not at the moment. But it's not especially with her. Yeah, that's understandable. Daniel and Oliver was referring to her to Miranda as being opposite. Despite she had rejected as many other handsome young guys at school, like even soccer player, team league captains, or anything like that. But it was the only one thing that would rip they were referring to. Miranda was the school's bully. She was the main bully of all. She had been bullying a lot of students. She claimed that some of them are, are nerds. And that is one thing that both Daniel and Oliver cannot tolerate. Because back in middle school, Daniel used to be bullied by another group of guys. And Daniel, he was really heartbroken of all that happened. When Oliver suddenly stood up and defended his best friend. And for that moment, Oliver had to make sure that to protect anyone from being bullied. But when he to find out when he find out that his old friend Miranda now being a new had to be the under new bully. And his his mind was conflict. He had no idea what to do. Defend new friends against his old friend, who's now became the new bully. It's just it was a hard thing for him to do. But he tried to defend others, even if that meant to tell them just ignore Miranda's bullying, her teasing, all that kind of things. But as they were talking, Daniel noticed that she's coming. So they stopped talking about that today because they didn't want her to hear it. So they hopped in and Daniel's in Olive's car and drove to this arcade game in town. They were playing at first a few of the arcade games and then they decided to play a one around of laser tag. Of course, Daniel and up went had to be against Oliver and Miranda. And during the play, Miranda was trying to make some hands move on Daniel on Oliver, but it didn't work. Oliver didn't budge, and in fact, he tried to convince Miranda not to stop acting like that and focus on the game. And she did for a moment, but then she went back to, to try to, to be in a romantically involved with him or something like that, trying to hint on him, but he told her to knock it off, to focus on the game, but as she was trying, she was hit by another team and she lost. And even afterwards, she blamed it that she wasn't focusing. But then Oliver saw, saw, told her that if you weren't me to focus on that on that team, you wouldn't have been shot. You know that? So, I mean, and Miranda's just chuckled and said, yeah, maybe I was a bad luck. Maybe just try to focus on, it, on the game next time. So they decided to play another round of laser tag. This time she did try to focus, but she made a small hint towards Oliver. But after the second time was over, it was time for for Oliver to go home. He had to do some chores at all, so he drove home Daniel and Miranda. But even at home, he still told himself, why can't Miranda just not realize it? I'm not interested in her. Later that evening, when he was on the call with Daniel. Daniel and Oliver, who should still have made the plans to meet, to spend time this weekend. But he said, you know, I'm not really, I'm not so sure that even Miranda's even realizing that I'm not even interested in her. But have you tried to tell her directly? <laughs> As if that's gonna work either. Well, you never know. Well, I'm okay, I will try. But, 
He never did, because he realized maybe that was not a good thing to do. So the rest of the weekend, Oliver spent a lot of time with his best friend playing the laser tags and even went to Daniel's Hall to play video games and all that kind of stuff. But the next week, things were actually seems to be as normal. School stuff, classes. But this week will, will eventually will be a little bit different. Because while they were, when Daniel was having this, when he was having biology class, he was about end up partnered with another girl with the name Amber. Amber was actually a girl that he knew quite well. She is a little bit shy, and she she, she were a little bit the type of shy person that she spent most other friends by herself or some of her close friends, but. He actually felt comfortable about running. She was completely off his personality as Amber's. Amber was more as outgoing, but still shy, she was very friendly. She didn't make any romantic impacts on Oliver or anything. But today, Oliver felt a little bit different because as he was looking at her, she smiled at him and somehow that made his heart melt. And it wasn't until like after, even after the class, he still felt different. And during lunch break, when there was just him and Daniel talking, he said Daniel noticed that that Oliver was silent and he was in deep thoughts. Oliver, uh, what? Are you even listening when I'm telling, telling you? I'm sorry, I just been thinking. Oh, but what? Uh, nothing special. Hey, come on, you can tell me anything, you know that? <sighs> right. You know this girl, Amber? Amber? Amber. Daniel was trying to figure out who Amber were. Oh, right, her. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know her. Well, we have the same, we have the same math kind together. Yeah, well, what about her? Um, I can't say it exactly. You know, she is a quite shy girl, but it was not until right today when I realized she how cute she is. Oh, wow. What? Well, well, well. Um, if I ask this with that, uh, Oliver, how do you feel when you talk to her, when you look at her? Um, feels like. My heart's melt, I feel a little bit warmer. And then he and then And then Daniel snapped his fingers like Well looks like Cupid found this arrow into your heart. What do you mean by that? said Oliver confused. Well Daniel, said Dan Well Oliver, said Daniel. Looks like you are in love. Daniel, are you certain about that? As Oliver. That, that is the classical feelings when you are feeling in love, or at least having a crush. So, have you even told her yet, or even asked her out? Whoa, 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 first of all, it wasn't until right now I realized, okay? And even if I did, I don't even know if this just temporarily or permanent feelings. And even if I were in love with her, how do you even expect me to just tell her? I don't even know if she likes me the same way. I mean, what if she likes me just a friend and nothing more? And I would be like a fool even ask her. Well, you better not, you don't know until if you tell her or ask her out. You know that? <sighs> yeah, you're the point. You know, I will try to ask her later. And then later, full action would be end up having by the end of the day. But he was, when he was standing by his car to, about to, the, to drive home, he heard a voice behind him. And he turned around. It was Amber. Amber? Can I do something for you? She, Amber was actually a bit shy, but she asked him if it was possible for her to get a lift home since. Her parents, or especially her mom, was about to pick her up, but 
Turns out her mom wasn't feeling well, and she asked him if it was possible, since he doesn't live that far from her. And yeah, why not? Hop in. So he decided to drive her home, but on the way, there was silence. Daniel Oliver remembers about Daniel said. He should try to ask her, ask her, ask her. The same words repeat in his mind over and over. Um, Amber, yeah? Um, I'm curious. Um, would you even go out with someone at school? I mean, if someone asks you out. Um, maybe? That depends on who. She answered she answer back while looking at the window. Um, well, how about if... Oliver was simply not sure how to even ask her or how to say it because he has never even been in he has never been in this type of situation before. Uh, would you like to go out with me? Wait. Seriously? Amber looked at him, shocked. <laughs> yeah, I am actually am. He was expecting maybe a no, or that she liked him as a friend, nothing more. But then, he had actually said, he said, yeah, I'd like that. So they actually made plans to go out that same Friday. And when he got home, he immediately texted all of Daniel, telling him that he has a date with Amber on this Friday, and Daniel called him like, Dude, are you serious? You actually asked her? Yeah, I did. Wow, dude, I didn't expect you to even do that. What? You told me to do it. Yeah, but I was honestly didn't even expect you to do it. He said back, and he... Dude, you should probably have more confidence in me. Yeah, you're right, said Daniel back. But even though, have you been thought of anything more about her? <sighs> like what? I know. Be our boyfriend? And then Daniel started laughing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just asked her out, and did you expect me to be your boyfriend right away? Hey, dude, are you supposed to act just only teasing you, dude? He said back. Well, I will see you on tomorrow, okay? So by the next day, Daniel and Oliver were just talking about this. Even when Daniel, but when Oliver saw Amber in the hallway or in the class, she smiled at him a little bit and he felt so warm inside, realizing he were in love with her. And he really wanted to be with someone like with her. And eventually, on Friday, they decide to go out right after school, since they both didn't have anything else planned. But as he was waiting for, for Amber by his car, Miranda showed up. She got the word of him being dating Amber. Even though she was done, she wasn't like mad or anything, just. But she wanted to ask him to confirm if this was really actually going to happen. And she was like, then Oliver, are you, is it true you're actually going out with Amber? Yeah, it is. What about it? I mean, what is this she has that I don't have? Well, she's kind, very, she's a smart person, and she's very generous. Well, I'm smart, I'm cute, why don't you just go out with me then? Miranda, there, there are only a few reasons why I don't go out with you. It's one of them that you're my friend, and she is also my friend, but I don't feel the same for you. But I have loved you since middle school. I know that. You knew? Yeah. 
but another reason is what you have been bullying others. And that is I don't like. I don't like tolerant bullies. And be dating the school bully is the last thing I want to do, he said. He tried to act confident and tried to act calmly. But then he said, Miranda, if you had been like Am, like not being a bully, you'd have been a very different thing you could have a chance of being with you. But I'm sorry. But as long as you have been like this, I'm sorry. And then she just walked away and didn't say another word. Shortly afterwards, Amber showed up. Amber and then Oliver drove to the to the park where they decided to have a small picnic. Even though they actually first went to a small bakery in the area, bought some cake and some cookies and all that that you couldn't have for a picnic. And even after that, they actually admit to each other they really were in love with each other. And it, it didn't take that long. Maybe after like four dates when they admitted official. But even after like after nearly two weeks, which were uh, they had been together, Miranda started to try target Amber as a bull. At first, Oliver was not even aware of it because Amber didn't even tell him. At first, it was just some bad thing being calling her like she's teasing her, calling that, calling her that she is not smart enough for anything. But as those those things didn't bother Amber at all. But as she started hitting her with a different level, calling her that Amber should not be dating the best guy in school, was she referring to Oliver because Oliver should not be dating such ugly, stupid girl. Those same things when Amber held been telling Oliver, and Oliver was frustrated. Now he was having enough. He told the principal what was has been going on, and the principal told Aunt Miranda to knock it off and just stop doing it because school has non-point policy. And eventually she did stop. For only temporarily, for at least. But then she went back to bullying Amber again. But this time, it only worked last for only a couple of days before she stopped entirely. Not because that Oliver or the principal had in mind or had things in the fair. She just stopped for her own. She had come to realize that no matter what she tried, Oliver was not going to be with Amber, with Miranda at all. Because she realized that if she broke up between Miranda and between Amber and Oliver, and that Oliver would be alone, she then could swoop in, try to be with him. But she realized that for nothing was going to happen. So she decided to just quit being a bully and just move on. And eventually, she did start dating another guy. And in fact, the school's cap, soccer cap. He was actually very quite handsome and smart. And had moved on. And after a while, after a while, both Oliver and Amber finished high school, and they later went to college. Oliver, he wanted to be something special, but he became a mechanic, after all. During his spare time, he loved to help his dad with a car and even helped with his own car, so he became a mechanic. Amber, though, she wanted to study something further, so she became a preschool teacher, and she loved it. Even after they both have finished their studies and and they moved in, in a small apartment in town. But after they had been together for another for, for another few more years, Oliver, he actually proposed to Amber, and she said yes. 
they decided to have a small wedding because they didn't have the budget enough to have a big one, but they were okay with it. Miranda was actually happy the time to have become Amber's friend. Amber actually been choosing Miranda to be her bridesmaid and Oliver chose Daniel to be his best man, which no surprising there. They even had this small honeymoon in, in a different nearby town for about over the weekend, which was perfect for, enough for them. After two more years after being married, they actually had a daughter she named Miranda. And two more years later, they had a son she named Leo. Amber was really happy to have found a guy like Oliver. Oliver himself was really happy to have Amber. And this is how Amber and Oliver found the true love for the family, the end.